Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast. This is the first episode since um, since we played for like three hours on the first day that the server was launched. So I have learned a few things. Not very many, <laughs> but I have learned a few. First of all, I've decided I want to start my own canning business. That's right, Beef, Beef's Cannery, where I sell canned goods to the entire server for a small price. I'm not sure what that price is yet, but I need one of these. I've decided that I'm going to can zombie flesh and uh, spider eyes if I can find a spider's spawner somewhere. But I'm going to can zombie flesh. And I thought, you know what? This is perfect. I don't have to worry about making bread or, or killing animals. And, and this, this is like the sort of stuff where you get the zombie flesh and nobody really wants it. So people can even donate zombie flesh to me if they want. But I think this is going to provide enough zombie flesh to keep my cannery... Um, pretty healthy for a little while something funny though something funny happened to me this is this is Baj's. bash found this i asked Baj if uh i asked Baj and avidia actually avidia is on right now i asked Baj and avidia if they knew of any uh zombie spawners in the area that i could use for my cannery and bash pointed me out to this one avidia couldn't find one or avidia didn't know where one was and i thought great thanks Baj. you're awesome so i got out i or i oh, i got out <laughs> I found it, um, and then I started to make my way out of the cave. I think that's what I meant by I got out. And so, to make my way out, I thought, you know, the fastest way to get out is directly up. Okay? Is there more there? Man, I can't stop mining these ores, man. This is like an addiction, these ores. Anyway, I thought the fastest way out is directly up. So, I'm going to just dig directly up. Uh, about right here is good. So I start digging up, and I start placing ladders. And by the way, that one's pretty low. Is that like level 20? Yeah, it's about level 20. And I thought, oh, that's going to suck, you know? I'd like to have it so that my spawner and my actual can canned goods building is in the same general area. But I thought, you know, maybe maybe I'll use it for now, and if I find a, sp a spawner closer to the surface, I'll relocate all the machinery to the spawner closer to the surface. So I came up here. And I happened upon this this cave. It was dark at the time, and me being the the curious guy that I am, I thought I've got to light this cave up. And look at what I find over here. Look at what I find over here: a zombie spawner. There are two of them. They're not they're not in range with each other, but this one is much closer to the surface. You can see there I'm at level 64. Uh, underneath my map there, you'll see the the, the level 63 or 64. And I dug a stairway up here, and this faces. Baj's building. There's our stuff. This is Baj's little island here, or not island, but mountain. And I'm going to make this my cannery. So we're at level 94 here. So we're going to have to probably chop down a bunch of this mountain to make, because uh, I want to make the cannery like at the top of the at the top of the mountain. So if I understand correctly, well, we'd have to chop down a whole bunch. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll make it inside the mountain. Either way, it's much closer to the surface than the one down there, and I'm super excited. And we're going to get started. First things first, we're going to turn this into a zombie killing machine. So I'm going to mine out some, some blocks here, and once that's done, we'll start working on the, uh, the zombie killing part. Alright, place has been cleared. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, if I remember, I'll go back to the uh, the main base and show you guys what's happened since the recording. Not much, really. I like I made a storage room and I collected more materials. I also made a, an enchanting table and put some books around it. Ended up with Silk Touch One. That was pretty good. Um, not sure why I'm doing this. Okay, so uh, how many spots? How many blocks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's let's push it. Let me see. Where do I want it to push? How many are this way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go this way. Let me go ahead and put these uh, source blocks under here. And now I made I made a infinite spring down here. I'm prepared, guys. I am really really prepared. Except fact that I don't... What is this over here? Did I do this? Maybe I did. Oh yeah, I think that's where I originally started to go. Started to, to mine out, but didn't work out. Let's do this. 
should stop right before. Yep, we're good. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I can take from there and put it there. Take from here and put it there. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got we've got our delivery system. Now we've got to drop these bastards down here. I wonder how would I go about doing this? Because I want to use the old lava blade method. That's that's my favorite way of doing it. Um, because it's simple and it doesn't require too many resources. You don't have to crush them or anything like that. But it does emit light, so you sort of have to maneuver them away from the spawner, so there's no light leaking in. Um, so, let's see. We can just keep going around this way, I think. So then, the water... Let's get some water right now. Uh, right here. Oh, did I not grab it? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the water comes out through here. I'm assuming these guys will not jump... Won't, won't jump back up. I haven't made one of these in such a long time. I'm a little rusty, I'm sorry. Don't dig straight down. Okay. Uh, so that's the wall there. Let's bring him out this way. blocks is that one two three four five great love gravel six seven eight now the light should be you know what let's block this no 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 not yet not yet not yet okay so next we gotta let's see if we can't get up here can we? Can we? Can we? No. Let's just block the water there. Okay. So let's grab some more water. Uh, now this water will go through there. Let's take this out. These guys going here. So they're going to be jumping up and down. Might as well take all of these out, actually. Dang it. Okay. Go there. Is it dark? Can you guys see anything? Probably not. Okay. So that should be enough to keep the light away. I'll do a test afterwards. I'll check the block light. Right. So they're going to come down here. Come through there. Going to get murdered over there. I should have probably done this on the other side to bring it around this way. But that's okay. It should, it should still work fine. Now over here we have to have some sort of lava blade that is going to murder them. Um... I think I should put a torch here so you guys don't go crazy. So, let's see. Let's First of all, let's cover... Let's stop the flow of water here to stop, stop us from going insane. So the water stops here. Blade should be... Oh, I wonder... Hmm, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to collect the meat... Because I know you can use obsidian pipe to suck up the meat from the floor. But, uh... I wonder if you can collect them sideways. So if the pipe is facing this way. Interesting. Well, we'll figure that out. We will figure that out. Okay. Uh, let me just test again where it stops. Okay, so right before the torch. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. So now we got to have the blade probably... Now they're going to be jumping up and down. But the blade should be here, I would think. Let's break that torch. Um... Yeah, if we put a sign... No, 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 no. The sign needs to be... Move that back one. One, two, three. Something like this, right? If the blade stops, the water stops there. Let's get some... Let's get some... Some lava. 
and test it out. <laughs> this could go horribly wrong. Two. Let's get some signs. Let's get a sign, I should say. Uh, which reminds me, I don't have any wood here, so I'm going to go grab some. I'll be right back. Okay, I've set up the uh, the spawner. We're going to test rates here. Yeah, this guy's going to hurt me. Oh, by the way, I'm not taking any damage because... Because... Because I'm wearing rubber boots. That's right. Rubber boots. Apparently, rubber boots <laughs> uh, prevent, like, all the damage in this update or this version. I made a little wall here to watch what happens. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't re... Or I didn't unclog the water here. There we go. It looks pretty bright over there, though. Is this guy going to burn? I want stuff to get. I could just collect the stuff here. Right? Yeah, I could just do this. That's just for the test. This is just for the test. It sounds like the spawn rates are pretty good. Um. Let me get this torch out of here. Get that torch out of there. So I can test it further. Uh, let's put a torch behind here, actually. Okay, so this is all the light it's emitting. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Alright, man. Later. Um. Oh, how'd you get through? Is there is a too high hole here? Oh, there sure is. Oh, this needs to be like this. There we go. Eight, eight zombie flesh, that's good. Look at this, 12 zombie flesh, that's amazing. Okay, so this works. This works fine. So now I can pipe my... Wait, I still need to check light levels, though. So let's get rid of this light here as well. This is super dangerous. Where is this light coming from? A torch right up here? There sure is. Let's go ahead and block that off, too. Ooh, that's dark. Now let's, let's peek inside here. Oh, yeah, I think it's affecting light thingies. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's the black light? I can't even find it. Oh, okay. Two, one. But what about down there? Hmm. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, it looks like it's spawning. You know what? I think we're fine. It is... it is fine. <laughs> okay, let's get some torches back in here. And let's continue making this thing. Now... Oh, you know what I'm gonna need is sand. I don't have any sand. For glass. Actually, we might have glass back at the house. Let's see what's going on with this collection here. Fifteen, that doesn't seem very good. These guys are loud. I'm still wondering if, uh, if some of the items are getting burned up in the lava. I'm not sure about that. But maybe I'll make a crusher eventually or something. It'll probably be easier to get every single item. Anyway, let's go grab some glass from the house. And uh, this will give me a good opportunity to show you guys what's been going on. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't there be a creeper right at the entrance? Man, I hate creepers so much. Especially the new creepers. These smart bastards. Okay. Let's get out of here. It's right behind. This is this is Badge's tree farm, I guess. Ouch. I don't think I could take any damage anyway with these boots. So I think I'll be okay. Let me show you guys some more stuff. Okay, that's a little storage room I made. This is a bridge the Badge made. Um, I'm getting shot by a skeleton. I'm sure there's going to be a creeper around. Now I'm in this hole. Still getting shot by skeletons. Wish they'd stop doing that. 
Let's go around the back here. Oh, by the way, uh, Bash got the got the quarry working. Holy crap! What is with all the skeletons everywhere? So the quarry's working. It's a big hole. I don't want to fall in there. It's down to it's. It's not very efficient, I gotta tell you. Although it hasn't really made it to all the important stuff yet. In fact, I don't even know if that's working right now. Is this working? I don't think it's working. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not my creation. We have our own plan for us. Us meaning me and you guys. Make that cannery. <laughs> So, basically, the only thing that's changed up here is this. I got an enchanting room here for the guys. I still haven't even filled it up with books. I didn't have enough reeds. And... I organized some stuff in here. And Bash has made, like, a... a, a this is the platform to get to his bridge. There's, this is the... Here, let me show you this room. This is a nice room right here. It's got a, a lot of cool stuff. Which, uh... Wait, how many diamonds? One. I'm gonna need another one for the thing I have planned. But that probably won't be this episode. The thing about this is you guys have to be patient. Because, uh, first of all, we're learning the mod. And not only that. The stuff required to build anything of any significance is, um... There's a lot of stuff. You need a lot of stuff. Oh, Jesus. You need a lot of stuff. I'm hoping I have some glass in here. I thought I did. Unless somebody took them. Um, nope, I have four glass. That's good. That's probably going to be enough. Where are my can? Oh my gosh. There's my cans. Okay. Anything important here? Not really. I found these four records in one dungeon. In, the, in a chest. Oh, there's more glass here. Let's take some extra. So yeah, there's that. Uh, let's take these levers, because we're going to try to make some redstone engines. I think we're good. Actually, let me double check. I'll see you guys back there uh, when I know I have everything I need. All right, we're back. I wonder if there are any items here. There sure are. Okay. We are ready to power this thing. Not to power it, but to pick up the, some items. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's have two out there. We might have to eventually move the lava back. I don't know. It might be causing a little bit... A little bit of... Uh, that's probably not good. We should, let's go ahead and light this up. Don't want creepers sneaking up on me and blowing up on my face. Okay, there we go. I want it. Oh yeah, this is going to be such a profitable, profitable business. Okay, first things first. We need to make a redstone engine. Uh, which means we need gears. Perfect. That's a wooden gear. Um, oops. Oh, I did forget something, didn't I? I didn't bring any redstone with me. Dang it. Be right back. Got my redstone. Okay, so I need my two gears. What else do I need? Let me just double check here. Okay, I need a piece of glass, which I have. And I, Okay, that is going to get annoying, though. We're going to shut this thing down for now. It's not like they can hurt me. There we go. This will at least slow it down. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's make... Stone. Oh man. I don't want to say it, but I did hook up the new mouse and I'm still getting used to it. Um, okay, so we got a piston. We got these three here, like that. So we got the gears on each side. This goes like this, and the glass in the middle, and there we go. There's our redstone engine. Okay, so the redstone engine is gonna be placed there. Next thing we gotta we gotta make is let's get a bunch of this out of my inventory. Gotta get glass and obsidian. Okay, so we're gonna make an obsidian pipe. Okay. Now the obsidian pipe, as I understand it, sucks stuff up from the floor. 
I hope. Maybe it should be, you know what, I think, I think it needs to be at this level here. Um, so let's power this bad boy. With this thing. Okay. Where's our lever? Alright. Is it gonna suck it up the pipe? Hmm. Maybe it's because there's no other pipe above it. Let's make another pipe. Stone pipe. Uh, we got all the ingredients we need. I need to put more torches in that place. There's some cobblestone transport pipe. Okay, let's see if this works. Uh, let's throw something in there. Let's throw this lever in there. It's gotta be in here, though. Oh, there goes. There goes. Ah, there we go. There we go. Yep, it's sucking it up, all right. Is the lever in there too? Where's the lever? I only see the. There's some more. There's some more. Uh... And out you go. Oh, there's the lever. Sweet. Okay, this is good. This is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and transport this over here for now, just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in a chest. Uh, let's get a chest. <laughs> I think I have one. Yeah. Go ahead and dump it in this chest for now. So all the rotten flesh is gonna go into this chest. This thing's gonna be pumping away. Right? Come on. Show me the zombie flesh. I'm still wondering if it's getting like chewed up or messed up in the uh in the lava. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Alright. We got phase one complete. Next phase, we need to bring this zombie flesh into a canning machine and then automate the whole process. We gotta get some tin cans from a different chest. We could actually use the same chest for tin cans, but we're not gonna do that. I don't know. I don't know if that's working. Oh, I know this is working. I don't know. If... There's nothing there, huh? That's okay. You know what? Don't worry about it. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's continue. Um, here's a question for you guys, because I don't know. Is there a limit to how long these pipes can be? Let me know in the comments. Let's continue working here. We need to extract the zombie flesh. We need to extract the zombie flesh out of the chesticle. Go ahead and do this because, uh, you know, what we should do is figure out where exactly the store will be. So let's try, let's, let's rough out an area for the store like right here probably be a pretty good spot actually on the face of the mountain and if I want I could bring down the mountain a little more so let's try and bring the pipes that's a long way I don't know if that's gonna work maybe I'll save that for the next episode because you guys can tell me if there's a limit on how long the pipes can transport stuff but what I do need to make though is a canning machine because I picked up the one I had and it broke so let me let me find out how to make that real quick. Um, can oh, canning. There it is. We need tin, electric circuit, tinning it, and a machine block. All right, all the electric circuits and stuff are over at the other place. So I'm gonna go grab what I need. All right, I'm back with the things I need. Got to make a wooden pipe now, and we're going to stick the wooden pipe right there. 
Okay, now we gotta power that wooden pipe to pull away. You know what I forgot? I forgot how to make one of those things already. Uh, luckily, I have the necessary page up on my thing. <laughs> that sounded weird. I need these damn... You know what? I should probably make a bunch of these. Um, oh, that's not it. A bunch of these um, pistons because they seem to be quite... Oh, I need more gears, though. I didn't make the gears. Which means I need more wood. Luckily, I have some. Not going to be enough. Yeah, it sure is. Make a bunch more gears. There you go. Four gears, piston, glass. Oh, what am I doing? No, that's extra. Extra gears. Dang it! Wow. stuff. Go ahead. Look at uh, look at this. Oh my God! So much crap in my inventory. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to go turn off that zombie spawner because uh, probably be sitting here for a while. I don't want it to constantly be going off. Anyway, so there's our extraction point. We got 20 of them already. There's a couple more coming up. Couple more coming right up. I could definitely save on some cobblestone if I just imported it in, input it in here but that's okay eventually because this, this not only collects the rotten flesh the zombies also drop like armor sometimes and uh, ingots and stuff I think uh, unless you actually kill them actually I think they'll drop flesh every time so that works out but if not there was a way to separate them with like diamond pipe and stuff I've been I've been reading Alright, so we got a generator here. We got enough to make the canning machine. Um, let's double check. Yeah, okay, so we need a circuit up top. We need a machine block here, and we need tin ingots all around. And there's our canning machine again. Great. Let's bring the canning machine over. Um, this chest is sort of in the way. But let's just bring it over here. Oh, this damn chest. Let's put it in here. For now. This is... Huh? Okay, let's not worry about that. Canning machine. Bam. Okay. We gotta pipe. We gotta pipe that stuff. We're gonna need more pipe. Oh, man, this is so confusing. I don't know why people like this so much. <laughs> Actually, I do. It's sort of fun. But, oh, by the way, people that are worried that it's, you know, now there's going to be, like, no mind crack because, uh, <laughs> we're all playing this. Trust me, that is not going to happen. I still, I would much rather play mind crack than, than this. The only reason I'm really doing this is because you guys seem to enjoy it. Damn, guys, it's all your fault. Okay. Oh, no, we can't have that. Well, we probably can, but I don't, I don't want to have that. I still don't know exactly... How precise you have to be with this stuff. But this should work. So let's get this going here now. It should be sucking out. There we go. It's sucking out the, the flesh. So that's going to input it on the top half here. Of our canning machine. Now. We could put the tins in ourselves. But. I think I'm going to have a chest full of tin cans. Speaking of which, is that tin right there? Oh, I think there might be water. No. Was that tin? Yeah. So we're gonna have cans. Oh, uh, you know what? I just realized something. I probably shouldn't. Cause it's gonna keep it's gonna keep going, and then when it fills up, it's gonna start overflowing. I need a hopper. I need a hopper. Now, how the heck do I make a hopper? Oh no, O is what I need. So we'll go and type hopper here. Oh, there's a hopper. So we need ingots, stone gear, which is a wood gear surrounded by cobble. And what was the other thing? A chest. Okay, so a chest, ingots, which I have, 
a chest which I can make real quick. Stone gear which I have. Surrounded by cobble. Okay, stone gear, chests, ingot. Let's see if I remember the... Uh, it's like... Oh, it's like this or something, right? Yeah, there we go. There's a hopper. Sweet. Okay. So when this starts overflowing, when it gets to like 64 or something, the meat's just gonna have nowhere to go. So I gotta have a hopper. Now I think I can have the hopper back here. And I gotta be honest with you. Um... Man, I'm trying to figure out... Okay. Do I need it to be wooden? Or something? Hmm, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. I tried it in my test world. Now I have a test world for... <laughs> for this, too. It's driving me crazy. Actually, I don't even think we need this part. If we could just put the hopper on top here, that'll work. So now if it gets full, if the canning machine gets full... All the extra meat goes back into the hopper, and we can wire the hopper, or, or pipe it back, I should say. We can pipe the hopper back into the original chest. I hesitate making all this stuff here, because I sort of want to... Well, actually, we could have all the equipment down here, and then just pipe the, the tin cans out. The full cans. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do this for now, just so I show you guys that it does in fact work. Uh, try not to... Try not... To interfere with those pipes. I think if you use different kind of pipe, they won't stick together, so I might even be able to do that. Let me try smooth stone pipe. So it's different than this, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's a smooth pipe. Uh, let's get that back there. I'm gonna need an extractor pipe to come out of here. I call it an extractor pipe. Uh, no, we can do this, can't we? Yeah. Whoa! Okay, this works nicely. We gotta get it back into... Here. Let's do this, 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 <laughs> this, and this. Okay, so now any extra, well, not yet. I have to make another one of these damn redstone engines. I am running out of space back here. But I think that's what we'll do. We'll have the machinery back here in this room downstairs, and then it'll all pipe up. It'll t pipe up the full cans up to the store. But I gotta, uh, I gotta remember, I have to stay within 15 blocks of the spawner. Vertically. So I can't be very far from here. I might have to make the store, like, right in here or something. Either way, we will figure it out. Just go ahead and make one more of these uh, redstone engines. Let me think. Oh, gonna need a piston. I'm trying to remember now. I'm gonna need another one of these. This is so complex. Okay, got one of these. Got that, that, that. Okay, we can. Oh, is this refined iron? Yeah, we don't need that. Let's go and make a piston here. Really? We only have three cobble? Really? Okay, found some more. Everything's fine. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. Oh, no. Not that. This. Not the refined iron. This. And this. There's our piston. Now we need glass. Two cogs. Uh, what, what's at the top again? What's at the top? I gotta look it up. Oh, yeah, just regular wood. Okay, sweet. They're not that expensive, which is nice. Now we're gonna need... A, a, a lever. <laughs> this is insane. I ask for your patience. I know you guys could probably do this. Uh, well, the ones of you that play Feed the Beast could probably do this in a jiff. But I cannot. 
Let's go ahead and put some, uh... Do this. Do that. Do that. Is there any? Yep, there's already... You see that? The extra flesh that didn't fit in here. Wait, why is there only 32? Does it only take 32? It's pumping it back. Let's follow this flesh here. Is it going up instead of down? Or does it only take 32 rotten flesh? That wouldn't make any sense. Okay, this the hopper's pumping the flesh back into the chest. That's good. Now I could have it so that it pumps directly pumps the flesh directly into that machine there. But Um then I don't know what I would do if it started overflowing here. Okay, so this is going down. Thirty-three. I wonder why the hopper had flesh in it. Did I put it in there by accident or something? Anyway, the canner is not powered. Let's put a generator. This is not the best way to power it. It's very inefficient. But what can you do? It gets the job done. Eventually, I'm going to try to build some solar cells or something. Um... Solar panels to power things. But for now, I think we're just going to go with that. Um, it is it is collecting flesh from the hopper. It's 28. Is this one going down or up? That's going down. Down. up. Why did that one go up? Up. Okay, that's confusing me a little bit. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop the episode here. We got a bit of machinery going here now. I feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm still wondering if this chest is absolutely necessary. We could pipe the hopper back into the pipes if we really wanted to. And we can forego the chest completely. The thing with the chest is, if I manage to turn this into like an XP farm with like a crusher and stuff, then they're going to drop other things too. And if those other things can get all picked up for one pipe, dropped into this chest, then I can export those and use diamond, diamond wire or diamond piping to split them up. And that would be great. Now this thing's already almost out of power. But look how much... Oh, look at that. All good, delicious meat. I need more tin ingots, dang it. Silver ore. Where's my tin? Where's my tin? Lead. There it is. Tin ore. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks. I am definitely open to hearing them because this is a this is some complicated stuff. I am definitely not a master of the Feed the Beast. Not even close, but this is a start. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you next time.